Good morning, everybody, and welcome to St. Patrick's. And again, welcome to this wonderful feast of the Holy Trinity. So as we think about the Trinity into our lives this morning, we also take a moment now to acknowledge our own sins and to ask the Lord for pardon and peace. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God Almighty, Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, that we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, the Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, if I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Glory and praise for Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. 
Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways. Encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. And the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the, of the only Son our God, of God, the Gospel of the Lord. This morning, as we take a few moments to, to take a look at Trinity and what does that mean in our lives, as we think for a moment, our knowledge about God is cloaked in mystery. And, it only, and we will only come to understand it by approaching it with blind faith. Often people will say that seeing is believing, but our faith teaches us the opposite is true. Believing is seeing. We can only begin to grasp the mystery of the Trinity by believing it. Some archaeologists believe that the first human beings believed in one God, sometimes called the sky god before they develop a system of worshiping a multitude of gods. By the time Abraham, the people had worshiped over 700 gods. Imagine trying to please 700 gods, thinking of the terrible things that would happen to you if you ne neglected one of them. Only Moses and his followers worship a single god. Christianity took its belief in a single God from the Jews. Our God is God alone and there is no other. We, prof we profess it every week when we say, I believe in one God. The only thing we can know is that we know nothing, certainly as it applies to the Trinity. We believe in one God, but in one God there are three persons. The most famous example is the shamrock. St. Louis, C.S. Lewis, in his book, Mere Christianity, he 
attempts to explain how God could be one in being but three persons. He says that we live in a three-dimensional world, and that is all we know. Who is to say that there's not other dimensions that we do not know of yet? First of all, only we can make sense of the gospel is to accept that God is the one in nature but three in persons. When Jesus came, an observant Jew, he revealed to us a new idea about this one God. Jesus spoke of God as Father, yet showed himself to be God. He healed people, he raised the dead, he forgave sins, he cast out demons, he interpreted the Torah with authority. He spoke not as if he was, was the Father, but that he was equal to the Father. In the Gospel, he says, I and the Father are one, and who, who sees me also sees the Father. Jesus tells the Jews, before Abraham was, I am. Jesus also spoke of the Holy Trinity as advocate, who was neither Father nor Jesus, who would speak with authority, who would take what belongs to Jesus and declare it to the disciples. How do we integrate all this in our faith with one God, who took a few centuries for our church fathers debated as wars were fought over this issue and blood was shed, a long process of overcoming the heresy of Arianism, which taught that Jesus was not equal to the Father. To the Father. Why, should the, why should the Trinity matter? Well, the persons of the Trinity are united in love, and God is a model of how he wants us to be united in loving and caring about each other. God wants to reveal God's self to us, just as two lovers want to share with each other their hopes, their dreams, their joys, and their fears. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We confidently present our petitions before our faithful God who hears our concerns. For vocations to all the ministries of the church, priesthood, religious life, lay, and diaconal ministry, let us pray to the Lord. For vocations to the ministries of public life, civic leadership, education, health, community service, let us pray to the Lord. For vocations to the ministries of liturgical life and prayer, through the conversion of hearts and minds to God, let us pray to the Lord. For the strength to mend our ways and live in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For vocations to the ministry of community building and confronting the world with love, let us pray to the Lord. Holy God, you unite your people with love. Hear the prayers we offer for the church and for the whole world. Through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. My dear friends, let us still continue to pray that my sacrifice and yours, that it may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctified by the invocations of your name, we pray, O Lord, our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make us, make us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you, and lift up your hearts, and let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in in the confessing of the one and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity and substance, their equality and majesty. For this is praised by the angels and the archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, and never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also all our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us give each other now a nod of faith. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Well, I hope you enjoyed celebrating with us this morning as we hope all those who are watching by TV or by YouTube, hopefully someday you will feel comfortable in coming back to church with us. As you can see uh, this morning, our numbers are growing. We are getting more and more people coming back, but yet some are still feeling it's not safe yet. So it's up to you. Whenever you feel comfortable, you're more than welcome to come back. But in the meantime, even if you're at home and you can't make it, please do not forget to send in your envelopes. 
we can always use that little bit of help during this time. And let us pray. May receiving the sacrament, O Lord our God, bring health of body and soul as we confess your, as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. May the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless all of you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go now in peace.